It's a really exciting time for all of our characters as it is when you are a high schooler. Like everything's weird and everybody's weird, even if you're a superhero. So you guys have to work with the whole menage of, of DC's uh, female characters in, in totally different iterations than we're used to seeing them. Um, how do you manage to, how do you guys figure out how to provide the, the individual personalities for each of the characters? Because I think in a very short amount of time, you guys have done that in a way that appeals to young kids, but doesn't condescend, which is always the key to making a yes. good kid story, right? Absolutely. So I think with DC Superhero Girls, we're very conscious of making the character DNA the same as it is in all the DC comics. There's a reason that Wonder Woman has been around for 76 years and she is so popular. And we want to take those inherent qualities that have made her so loved by all these people throughout the generations, but then bring them into this modern era, era and really make her pop for a modern audience. So it's stripping away a lot of the backstories for a lot of our characters like Harley and Ivy and just finding them in in this high school time where they're innocent and they're new and they're discovering the world and it's a really exciting time for all of our characters as it is when you are a high schooler like everything's weird and everybody's weird even if you're a superhero. Agnes tell me about uh, bringing Shay's uh, words to life and 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 using your well do you draw digitally or pencil and ink? Actually, for this one, I purposely worked digitally because of the edits. So when you work on licensed properties, like My Little Pony was a little more lenient because we have it, we've, we've been around for a while and they kind of let us do our thing. But with DC Supergirls, they're very tied together. So they always want to make sure that that energy and that look stays the same, even though I could bring a little bit of myself. So I was already prepared to, for more edits and just with the deadlines as they are. Sure. Working digitally works a lot better. I wish I could do it traditionally, but just sure. I want to hit those deadlines. So with those digital tools, how, how do you work on, on bringing each of their their personalities to life on the, on the page for the readers um it, it's really easy shay gives me a lot to work with and it's all really fun like i'm generally really excited every time a script comes in because it just develops more and more and the characters are very organic they're all very different and like harley she's very bouncy so you could play around with her mannerisms so much because she's never standing still she does not stand still people <laughs> and then wonder woman she's very pristine she has a very nice confident stance about her so it's really fun playing around with these different personalities because each one stands differently, each one moves differently. So you want to make sure that they are different, their personalities shine through, and you just really have fun with it. Like, I like it when I draw characters that are very nervous or anxious at the start of a book because they do are more slouched over. They're, they're not standing upright. And then as they develop, their pose develops too, and that I want to bring that energy so the kids can be like, it's okay to be shy and nervous because if I keep working on it, I can build my confidence, just like she did. So I hope that comes through in the pages. Working on Supergirl, I wonder what is the character what is the character's um, main quality that, re that you really admire I mean the thing I love about Supergirl is she's this perfect balance of the ordinary and the extraordinary that she's this person who has great abilities but that she lives in this small town and she just has you know she's like the every girl and she's also like nobody else in the world and finding ways to bring both of those things into a story is really fun actually.